How's it going guys? Uh, just want to give you all a video over my AR-15. It is, uh, it's set up for cow hunting right now. You know, fall's right around the corner, so it's uh, about time to start getting ready. Uh, this is the same gun if you've seen uh, my other videos. This is the, uh, this is the same um, AR-15, a Colt LE-6920. Uh, the only differences are is I've uh, removed the EOTech and um, vertical grip, and I've put on a Vortex scope and Harris bipods. The scope is um, it's a Vortex uh, PST, stands for Precision Shooting Tactical. Uh, it's a two and a half to 10 power, uh, second focal plane with illuminated reticle. Uh, the reticle's an MOA. Uh, very nice uh, with, with the sunshade. Uh, you know, the sunshade, its primary purpose is for concealment. Um, if you're out there on a sunny day, your scope's gonna be throwing some glare and you wanna conceal that as much as you can. So that's why I run the sunshade. Uh, a lot of people think that a 10 powered scope is a little bit overkill for a 223. I disagree with that. A 223 is an, is an effective round well out to 500 yards, even further if properly set up. So you need to, um, you need to give yourself every advantage you can get. And that's what I, that's why I want the 10 powered scope. Uh, I'm using, um, American defense manufacturing, um, cantilever, um, quick detach mount. Uh, it holds zero and it's great. Uh, it's got the, uh, second locking lever. So it's not going to come off um, unless 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 you take it off. Uh, well worth the money. Uh, moving on, there's just um, this Harris uh, six to nine uh, bipods with the leg notches. Um, also using American Defense manufacturing quick detach um, uh, rail adapter. Uh, it's worth the money, guys. Don't cheap out on your firearm in anything, and you and you really don't need to cheap out on bipods either. Uh, go ahead and spend that extra money. They'll last you twice as long, they're, and they're going to be—they're going to—they're—they're be, they're well worth the investment. Uh, if you're wondering, this is an 11-inch uh, Troy Alpha Rail, and I will soon be replacing um, the stock. This is a Rogers Super Sock. I'm—I'm going to be replacing it with a Magpul uh, sock, hopefully in the near future. Uh, my reason was sticking with my AR-15. Of course, it's cheaper. You know, it's really two guns and two guns in one. AR-15 is such a versatile platform, so that's my reason. Uh, where I live, um, in southeast Oklahoma, uh, you know, you're not going to be getting into you know 700, 800 yard shots very rarely. Uh, most of most of places where I hunt, uh, 300 yards in is going to be your furthest shot. So, um, 223 caliber works great for where I live. Uh. So if you have any questions, guys, um, just let me know. Um, I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching. And you have a good one.